a hallmark of an Antioch education is writing. Wherever you go, from New England to Santa Barbara to LA, up to Seattle and over to Yellow Springs, Antioch students and faculty write. The thing about writing is that it is hard work and that while we might excel, we also need support. And so the Virtual Writing Center is, uh, is one conveyance of that support. The thing I think that's really important is to just start thinking about it and engage with the idea that you do have a process and that there's not one right way to, to write. And my experience is that a lot of people sort of come up through their education thinking that, that you know, we learn a lot of rules. And so people think, well, writing is about the rules. And that's not the case. It's not true that, that that's what really is going on. I mean, there are rules there to give us some structure and to help us understand how language functions. But really, um, you know, it's about creating knowledge and it's about exploring and it's about understanding and it's about expressing yourself. Students, I think, sometimes get very caught up in this idea of the right way. And there isn't a right way. Um, sometimes there's more than one right way for you even. So just to explore what those things are and to just try to be open and, and try new things too. Students come to university and they have this idea that they need to know everything already, especially when it comes to writing. Um, and Midwest campus in particular draws from a particularly diverse populace that hasn't been writing a lot. Um, so when they come to the writing center, they come to me and they're they're embarrassed or they're ashamed or they feel like they're being punished because their teacher told them to come. I mean, that was the component that I had to say, no, no, the teacher sent you here because he, want, he or she wants you to do better. Um, they see potential in you. I mean, it was really me recognizing that I had to reach out to these students. I think the best advice for me was to, to realize that writing is uncomfortable and it involves problems and problem solving. And that's just going to be a natural part of it. And so instead of you know, shying away from those discomforts like we usually do with discomforts, you know, that's the definition of courage is to stand there even when it's hard or painful or you're afraid of it or it, you're nervous about it. The writing process is very vulnerable for me. Um, I, I, um, when I mean vulnerable, I, I look at writing or I think about writing as, as, as a piece of myself or, or if I'm reading a, your writing, I'm, I'm, you're, I'm getting a window of who you are. And, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a narrative for me to get that window. It could be an APA paper, a journal, um, anything. Um, that is part of who you are. That is how you're thinking. And, uh, and so I think it's an honor to read other people's pieces, really, because uh, they're letting me into their world. And so, um, and so as, a, as a tutor, when I look at other people's writing, I, I look at it in that respect of like, I'm, I'm honored that they're, that they're allowing me to read this piece. I hope I'm giving the writer a, a friendly ear where they can not only um, be vulnerable, but they can also trust that, um, that I can give them some perspective on uh, the larger, uh, larger order concerns. Is it organized? You know, what, what are you trying to say? As the audience, am I, am I hearing what you're saying? Do I feel like when I read the, the topic and then I read the paper and I finished it, do I feel like I, I got something from it? Do I feel like I learned something? I think my main role as a consultant is to help students kind of see, get a mirror of what they're saying and how it sounds to the outside reader and when we're in our own heads and we're, we're writing at a computer and we're by ourselves and we're thinking about what we're thinking about we there's only a partial voice there you know we're we're kind of thinking some parts and writing some parts and we assume a lot of things we assume that we know what we're talking about we assume that the reader knows certain things that we're talking about and it's that's the gap that happens a lot in writing you know the writing consultant or the writing assistant's job is to really kind of reflect back to the student what it is that it sounds like they're saying and what it is that they're not saying. She'll ask me questions mostly. It's a very uh, dialectic process um, and uh, kind of Socratic at times actually. She'll try and sort of pin me into a corner with questions and at the end of it uh, after I've given her my line of reasoning she'll say okay now put that in your paper. It's definitely what I need because uh, things like mechanics and spelling and uh, formatting those things I generally have pretty pretty nicely down, but uh, it's making sure that all of the ideas that are in my head are actually in the paper is what I need help with.
And often the best feedback I get is to actually prune things down, to be succinct, to be clear, conversational. Uh, so I appreciate uh, commentary on the strengths of my writing. Um, at the same time, I've noticed themes of my weaknesses, which is to be a little over much. And so uh, the best kind of feedback that I've received is a sort of uh, um, where they affirm what's working well for me and then come in and, and say, well, I think you could say much of this uh, in the same manner, but tighten it up. I have a lot of stuff that crowds and um, just, I guess, makes it complicated and he just sort of goes in there and helps me see what we don't need and he cuts it out and we remove it and even though I think it'll never be good at the end, I don't think it's going to fly, I think it is lacking, by the time we're done I realize that that, that paper is better off now, so it was a good procedure, I guess. Uh, if I throw in terminology that's really complicated and I have been so used to seeing it in the literature that I've been reading, then she'll pick up on it and she'll be like, what is that word? And why didn't you define it anywhere? I don't know where you're going with this particular um, concept. The feedback is really um, positive critique and ways of building on my paper versus just um, like going through and checking it for punctuation or commas and being really like um, nitpicky about like little tiny things. It's more, um, she does a really good job of just kind of uh, communicating my errors in a way that's like, I don't know, like positive and constructive. And that's kind of what I think led to a good uh, peer editing process. At Antioch University, we write. We know we do, right? We, we write from reflective pieces to, to short stories, from proposals to abstracts. And through all, all of that, the writer is, um, is charged with examining not only the content, but examining his or her intellectual process. Writing is a cognitive process, and through that process, you, you learn so much about yourself. What a writer needs, besides the content expertise, besides understanding conventions, a writer needs a community. Virtual Writing Center, along with your Campus Writing Center, is founded in that very simple principle of bringing writers together to examine writing, to explore content area concerns, and to convene as intellectuals. Mm -hmm.